like I said if you are watching this video thank you if you want to see how I got this bomb look cute little chill makeup look with some hair store makeup and I'm not a makeup artist but I feel like I be pretty good <laughs> I'm feeling myself. Can you say feeling yourself, girl? Let me let y'all. Let me let y'all see me and Baby Farley. We are feeling ourselves. <laughs> mm, hold up, hold up, hold up. Keep going, folks. What is that? What is it, top damn man? up gang I am here today um to do my makeup on camera and to chit chat with you guys also let me show you my stomach I'm planning to do the ready to pop picture because officially at 12 o'clock tonight it'll be 40 weeks which is September the 13th so I'm gonna just do the picture while I mean because I am ready to pop and I've always wanted to do that picture and so I've already got my outfit on I'm about to do my makeup I'm gonna show it to you guys slightly. Ooh, my spot was good. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Shout out to Nivea Lotion. Let me shout him out one more time. Once again. This is why my stomach will look like this. I've been using this my entire pregnancy. So yeah, shout out to them. <laughs> But um, don't mind this picture. I haven't put it up yet. So yeah, these are the jeans I'm wearing. This is the top. And yeah, it's getting very much so 40 weeks pregnant vibes. So back to the video. So I got my camera set up in the mirror. Try to get y'all a little something fun, okay? So we're going to go ahead and jump into it. I don't know how to do makeup, but however, I just do what makes me look good. You feel me? I feel like it's all about what you think, honey. Especially if you're not a makeup artist. And I'm not. So. <clears throat> today conversation is. About my pregnancy journey. And me being ready to pop. So. I've already filled my eyebrows in a little bit. And I put on like a. Um, a primer. Low key. Not really. <laughs> it's uh, some sunscreen. But it acts as a primer for me. So right now I'm about to use my Ruby, Cre my Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation. Mm hmm and number 15, I'm going to use the darker side to kind of clean my brows up even though, like I said, I've already filled them in a little bit. But I just want them to look a little bit more crisp. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go under here and make them look a little bit more crispy. You know, clean, <laughs> crisp, clean and crisp. And I went ahead and put my shirt on because I don't want to put my shirt on and get makeup on it after the fact. So that's the reason that I already have my shirt on. And I'm up late night because my son is on his own schedule. And so I've just been on his schedule lately. So I sleep during the day most times. And yeah. I'm up right now and I decided I just wanted to do my makeup, get cute, and do this picture. Now, one of my eyebrows is <laughs> low and the other one high. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody had that problem. Well, not everybody, but it's okay. We are all unique in our own way. And baby, and then the little makeup can do. Okay, we're going to go across the top of that baby. <laughs> Ooh, the baby look at curious, baby. Okay. Who else hold their mouth a certain way when they do their makeup? <laughs> I don't know why I do it. I'll be like, especially when putting mascara on, you be like, I don't know why I do that. But whatever. Um, back to the pregnancy journey. Yeah, I'm 40 weeks and baby baby Farley is playing with my emotions. Cause just this Sunday, which was September the 11th, we had a scare. We thought like he was coming. So called a midwife. She came. Check me up, sit pool up, everything. We we be ready, you feel me? We done dilated two centimeters. My uterus done got thinner. And we thinking we about to pop some, you know. So she left. My midwife left and said, Call me if you know you have any dramatic changes. 
And um, so we had to call the family, let them know what was going on. Everybody come on up, get prepared, because he about to call. You know, we all excited. We ready. Baby, baby father said, uh-uh, not yet, y'all. Not yet. Y'all gonna wait on me. He ain't came yet. Here we are, Monday. About to go out to Tuesday. And, yeah, he's still here. So, that's what's going on. He's still here. Um, That eyebrow is definitely jumping. It's bothering me a little bit. <laughs> I don't think I ever noticed it until now. <laughs> you really jumping. What you doing, little friend? Hey, friend. What you doing? Come down, let me. <laughs> let me see what I can do. Make it look like it's coming down. Maybe I need to take that one up song. Ooh, child. Ooh, child. This is funny. <laughs> mm. But, yeah, so, he, um, he just not doing nothing yet, y'all. And I've been contracting, but it, I haven't had them contracting as well. The contractions where I'm just like, <gasps> what the, you know. But they've been intense. And I've been just like breathing through them fairly well, if I must say so myself. Um, but like I said, for the most part, he not doing nothing. Mm -mm. And today I had a doctor's appointment because I have a doctor and a midwife. So today I had a doctor's appointment and she wanted to like kind of check on me, make sure everything was all right. So, and um, she did another ultrasound. And I found out today that he is officially 7 pounds and 14 ounces. And, um, yeah, he's got a big. So, she did have the discussion with me that if, you know, we get around to 41 weeks, we'll start speaking about induction, inducing my, inducing my labor so that we can go on and get him out of there. Because, you know, it seemed like he a little too chill. Now, mind you, on Sunday, I walked a mile. And then I turned around and walked up and up, up one hill and down the hill and then back up the hill and back down the hill uh, with my family. And came in the inside, walked up and down the steps for a while. So I did some of that. Mm -hmm. Had sex the night before. T, you know, T.O.I. But um, yeah, had sex the night before. We just, you know, all the things that people say you should do to, you know, help him get here. He ain't, he ain't making no noise. So, yeah. Okay, so now I'm taking the KISS Professional New York um, Full Coverage. Well, Full Cover Concealer. And this is in Kanye. Um, number 42. No, 425. <laughs> number 425. And I don't like a lot of foundation. So, I've just been using concealer lately. And I just kind of like put it right here on my cheeks. It's like my trouble area sometimes. So I just put it right there on my cheeks. And then I take this brush, which is a real technique brush. It's a foundation. Boom. And I just kind of like smooth it in. Just on my cheek area. Just kind of blend it in. Y'all see how it's coming together? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, when your skin is taken care of, you don't have to do much. And I'm the type of person, like, a lot of makeup just not for me. So, I feel like I don't, I don't know, I feel like I get lost in the makeup. My features and my face, I feel like I get lost in the makeup. So, I like to kind of keep it simple. Okay, so, I think that's pretty smooth. That's fair enough. And then, I have this other um, full coverage kiss that I normally, I normally use like, when I'm going on a date. But since I'm doing just like a soft glam, I'm going to use this Neutrogena um, Radiant Cream Concealer. And it's in a number Deep 02 Java. Java. Wava. Java. Okay, so I like to take like a little here, a little here, both sides, you know, <laughs> and down that nose. We're going to make that, that look a little narrow. And then I go right here. Boom, 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 boom. Right? So, those spots I hit. Then, I'm going to take there. There's my brush. I left my other brush. Nope, there it is. I'm going to take this brush. What's this real technique? The expert face brush. This is what that's called. 
And I'm just going to kind of like tap it in. Tap it in. Tap, 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 tap. Just tapping it in. And it's just going to kind of like lift my eyes a little bit. Tap it in. And my lashes already been done. They've been done for almost two weeks. Shout out to my lash tech. Shibley Beauty and Mink Lashes in LaGrange, Georgia. Okay. Thank you, girl. She got me delivery ready. They've been in for a while, though. Okay, so boom. Just take it up and down the nose like that a little bit. And then I'm going to tap this in. I sound like I know what I'm doing, don't I? <laughs> I know, girl. I know, girl. You can do it, too. You can do it, too. It's coming together. It's coming together. Y'all work with me. Okay. All right. Boom. So after that, I like to take my brush. And some of my brush should be falling apart. Now, I'm back. Um, let's take this Studio Selection eyeshadow smudge brush. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take our Ruby Kisses. I think this is a Ruby Kisses video at this point. Because I definitely get all my stuff from the house though. You feel me? This is Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder. And it's a little beat up. So I'm going to show it to y'all. But this is um, number 16. <sighs> it's number 16. I had to make sure, you know, <laughs> camera check. Um, this is number 16. So I'm just going to take some of this put it on my brush sometimes I just go in the top area because it already be product up there but not a lot tap tap and then I like to go down my nose into my brows you know kind of scoped it a little bit like I said I'm not a makeup artist but I be seeing them doing oh y'all having a contraction oh Concentration. It's still going on. I'm breathing top through it. Ooh, it's, it's towards the end, so it's easing up. Okay. Ooh. So I take a little down my nose and up towards my brows, and I sweep like that a little bit, and then I take. Ooh, yeah, Jesus. I take this uh, Real Technique brush foundation. Now I have two. One that I use for the concealer, and one that I use for like contour so um i'm gonna take a little of this not a lot i want to make a mess with it and then keep my face right here just a little bit and sometimes i hit the side of them brows from where i hit that um the highlight out i like to hit that kind of a little bit and whoop, and then I'll hit the chin area just a little bit, blend it out. All right, All right so boom, that's done. What's next? What's my next step? Okay, I do like to take a little bit of um, what is it called loose powder? What is this? Yeah, loose powder. This is medium deep by Believe Beauty, and I got this from either Dollar Tree or Family, not Dollar Tree, Dollar General or Family Dollars. I can't remember the exact one because I've been had it for a while. But um, I like to take that and tap it into my under eye area. Now this is my broke brush, but um, it came off one of these brushes, honey. I be, you know, I be all over the place, but you just may do what you got. You know, you ain't, you ain't gonna do all that anyway. I'm gonna tap into this powder. We not even gonna worry about it. And then it's like an eyeshadow brush. Tap into it, and then I like to like. You know, just kind of dab, dab some of that up in there. Dab that in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What y'all call it? Baking. I'm going to let that bake. Let that bake a little bit. Boom, 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 boom. It's baking. It's baking. All right, take it down that nose. Oh, shot. It's, it's coming together. I don't know if y'all see it. I see it. It's coming together. And then sometimes I just take it just a little bit right Gotta pop the forehead out just a little bit, okay? So boom, now that that is done, I'ma go in with a little blush. Now the blush I've been using is by Nikki K. It's the duo blush, and I've been using the, um, what number is this? I don't know, I don't really know the number. But um, 
I, I like to use the more of the orange side because I feel like it brings out my undertones more. So I use this Real Technique blush brush. <laughs> this is a blood brush, a blush brush. And I just put it on my cheeks. Yeah, put it on my cheeks. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about OD on it though because I feel like it just adds color to my face. And I feel like it just, it just does it for me. Okay. Now, after I do that, one of my little techniques I'll be using, like, a, um, what's this brush? This is a crease brush, so I'll take some of this, and i put it right up in here. In the crease. <laughs> and I'll bring some color up in here. That's what I'll be doing. I'll be bringing some of that color. Girl, you looking good. Stop playing. Okay. So, boom. After that, i take this brush. This is the angled contour brush. And I use this new, this Nikki K um perfection highlighter. And this is uh Cleopatra. And I take that and sweep it right on top of that blush. Just right on the top part. Give it a little bye-bye highlight, you know. Oh girl, I went too heavy on this side. Then I put just a little bit on my nose. Sometimes I'll take it up here, but like I said, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna go too hard tonight. So now I'm just about to take this brush, which is like my base brush. What I call this? What is this called? We ain't called it. Whoop. <laughs> Blending and bronzing brush. That's exactly what I'm about to do with it. I'm about to blend this out together. I'll just blend that. Blend that, blend. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I'll take this um, base foundation, which is a pressed powder by Black Radiance. It's rich mahogany. And I'll just kind of sweep across my entire face to kind of like, you know, blend everything else in. Now, when I take this, when I take this off, I'm going to have to blend up here too because I got baby hairs up there. But, uh, if you don't do your baby hairs first, you'll have makeup in your baby hairs. So, that's not, that's not what I wanted tonight. You feel me? We don't want no makeup in our baby hairs. And, um, one of my favorite, like, mascaras from the drugstore or the hair store is Nikki K Mascara. It's only, like, $1.99. Depending on where you get it from, it'll be $4.99. But I've never paid that much, so. And it's, like, really easy to get off. A lot of times, mascara is hard to get off. I don't got time for that. So, Look at that face I told y'all about. <laughs> Can't talk during that part. <laughs> you gotta be careful because you it is kind of like it's not liquidy, but it's not like dry either, so you move too fast, you you'll put too much, and I think I kind of OD right here in this spot. So I'm gonna try to get some of it off. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so I'm liking what I'm looking like right now. So you know, I ain't gonna cry. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is good enough. This is giving what I needed to give. Now I do have. This is uh, Forever Matte by Ruby Kisses. And this is an old boy. It's called Old Boy. It's brown. It's like a brown. And I kind of like hit the outside of my lips with it. Kind of like a liner. Kind of use it like a liner. And then I go in with the Nikki K color, color, lip color. I'm a lip oil. And this is French Affair. And I kind of like tap and then uh, I will say since I've been pregnant, my lips changed like colors and stuff like I've been smoking and I don't smoke. So, yeah, I don't really like that. Then I take it and go over it with a little gloss. I 
from this is um Ruby Kisses Jellalicious Mango Butter. Okay, so let's take this scarf off, y'all. Hey, how I'm looking? Do I look like I need my makeup? <laughs> Do I look like I need my makeup? Okay. Ooh, look at cool. Okay, so now it's time to blend that forehead in, like I told y'all. Can't leave that looking like that. No line up there. What they call it? Line of demarcation. I wake up at five in the morning. Mm -hmm. What is it in my hair? Okay, so it's why I look cute, y'all. I think it's giving what it need to give. And as far as styling my hair, like I've been having my dreads in for a while, and I absolutely love them. They have gotten old. That's what I wanted. Like it's giving. This is my hair, you know. So. I don't really know how how I want to do it for my ready to pop picture. If I want to like toss it all to the sides, or if I want to just like let it hang messy, or bust down and then take like two little pieces from the back and never the edges, never the edges. So like you don't want to pull those tie right here and then give it just like a little loose look. It's not one of my go-to. So yeah, this is the finished look, y'all. I don't know. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let me let y'all see what I did. Can y'all see? <laughs> did I give? <laughs> okay, so that is it. Um, like I said, y'all, I am officially 40 weeks, September the 13th, my due date, and baby Farley is still in the womb chilling. I'm just about to do my little ready to pop picture, and I just wanted to kind of look like a get ready with me chit chat. Really just do my makeup and chit chat with y'all, but um, I can say throughout this process, it has been beautiful and an amazing journey. Shout out to my husband for the support and the love he has has given me throughout this whole entire process all of my friends and family that just kind of show me love and sent me gifts and cash apps and food and whatever else like i truly appreciate you guys and um we so are looking forward to meeting baby farley and loving on him so i'm just about to go in his room and take this picture for y'all so y'all on ig follow me at life with tabitha and make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. This journey has been beautiful. I'm five in the morning. Okay, so yeah. This is the finished results. I had the camera in the mirror, so just in case it looks a little different, I turned the camera around so y'all can get I can get a visual of what it's looking like. Close up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I did fairly well considering I don't do this on the regular but yeah this is all I got for y'all it was just a quick little makeup tutorial slash get ready with me slash chit chat about baby Farley and my excitement I'm ready to meet him so I hope he come this week but yeah I love you guys later gang bye I woke up and fight. Okay. Matter of fact, let me zoom out. Zoom out some more. Zoom out some more, girl. They don't see. They don't see us. <laughs> they don't see us. We love you guys. LWT gang. Hey. We love y'all. Me and baby Farley love y'all. <sighs> okay. And over and out. Deuces. Try to take my picture, y'all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a little harder than it look. <laughs> I'm tired already. <sighs>
and I'll smack it on and go on because it's good. Fast. And I'm so pretty until the ball was fast and bam. I couldn't even get the ball back. <sighs> okay, we're gonna figure this out. Okay. I'm trying to get it right, y'all. I see the vision, but I should have had my my little clicker. I can't find it, so it's making it a little harder for me. A lot of coordination you gotta blow the bubble get the stand click the sound you got 10 seconds to get in the right position and still make sure you look cute i'm good okay we're gonna get the picture though on the timer okay Ooh. Y'all, I just found the clicker. God, look at God. I just found the clicker. Look at God. Let me connect this bad boy. Y'all hold what y'all got. I'm about to get tired over here looking like, looking crazy. Like, I'm already hot and pregnant. Let me get this Bluetooth popping. Okay, I probably got up a smacking on the gun, but. Well, I'll show y'all it's good. It's good. Believe me, okay? What name is the little Bluetooth? We connect the y'all. So, might make this process so much more easier. I <laughs> got a clicker. Okay? So, now, I can get the picture I want. Okay? Or should I say the picture I'm trying to get? Hit a clicker, so I don't know if I'm taking a picture or not. But oh lord, Jungle 
I hold on tightly to your tail. I ain't got no tail, but you hold on to my hand or something. <laughs> you find the tastiest berries for me to eat. And you never get upset when the sticky juice goes all around my mouth. <laughs> Daddy, you are so much fun to play hide and seek with through the jungle trees. Even though I know you always let me in. I ain't let you in, bye. <laughs> Daddy, you are the best. Because when I tumble into a muddy puddle, you scoop me up and say, There, there, never mind. When it's time for a bath, you splash me with nice cool water in the jungle lagoon and spray me clean with your trunk. <laughs> I'm going to spray you with water, old boy. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm too little to climb up the next step on the rocky path, you are always there to help me and give me a big push. You let me trumpet as loudly as I can from the top of the cliff even if some of the other animals don't like it very much at all. But they're going to have to stand down. Because so that is on play. Stand down. When it, when it rains and giants splishes. Mm -hmm. Splishes and splashes. Spl oh, okay. And giants splishes and splashes. Yeah, that's all stuff. <laughs> you <laughs> let me hide underneath you so that I don't get too wet. Yeah, you sick, but I love to sit with you and watch the purple and yellow sunset, especially when you tell me stories about all the animals that live in the jungle. Daddy, I love you because when I'm too tired to walk, you swing me softly in your long curly trunk. <laughs> we have fun together all day long, Daddy, but bedtime is the best. <laughs> You always hold me tightly as I fall asleep under the starry sky. Your soft daddy hugs make me feel so safe and warm. I'm glad that you are my daddy because you are the best. My husband gonna say they book too soft. <laughs> I like. <laughs> I can tell how you read it. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, be done by here all sorrow like yo, daddy gonna come pick you up and daddy gonna <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alright, nothing man you fell in love with. And we'll see you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Smack a valley. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Keep doing folk. What is that? What is TikTok dad man? You're so proud.